Shanti Bhai, this is Anand Baba from Cherry Hill. I want to ask a general question and we are all suffering with this every single day. We want to be identified with our possessions. I want to have, I want to show off so much going on, even including me also, that I want to show off, I want to have an expensive car so that people say that, look, oh yeah, I have the, this person has an ex expensive car. And all other things show off, is so much going on. How we can come out of it and still be contented, how we can be uplift ourselves from this red race? Yes. Our goal in life is to be happy. Happiness by getting to know who I am. That is very important. I am is pure consciousness. We don't know it. So we identify our true self with experience of five senses and mind. So we listen to the senses. I say this is beautiful, look at it. Ear say this is good, hear it. Touch, seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling. These are the sense organs takes us outward. More you go outward, you are getting away from the real joy of being. Then we go further beyond senses, what do others think of us? That is further diluted. That means you cannot get closer to yourself to find peace. So people try to look good in the eyes of others. And just imagine, if you try to look good in the eyes of others, it changes. You will drain all your energy to please only one group of people. But when you try to please different group, group of people, you will be draining your energy totally. So, pleasing others is an illusion of happiness. Sacrament, pleasing our senses would drain our energy. Only try to please yourself, that is your true reality. Whatever we do is actually trying to fulfill what we are lacking. So, most people lack inner peace. So, so many people have inner poverty, they try to show wealth by exhibition. Those who are totally content, they don't need to exhibit that they are wealthy. Those who have inner weakness, they build the muscles and show they are very powerful. Those who have weakness, they try to become more powerful in politics. So all our activities are only to cover up and balance out what is lacking inside. So really when we let go of all the unnecessary desires and attachment, we become centered within ourselves and become content within ourselves. And this is when we stop running outside. And that is the purpose of life. We live the life with all the experiences. We like to please the world, fine, do that. We like to please our senses, do that. But do with awareness so that by experiencing same thing repeatedly, you realize you cannot please the world, you cannot please the sense, senses. Then you come to the source, realize self is totally perfect. There is contentment. I have nowhere to go, nothing to do nothing to accomplish. That is called sannyasa. Sannyasa means total renunciation. Renunciation doesn't give, come by giving up, but by gaining spiritual maturity. That is called sthita prajna state or state of samatha. That you come to the center and you see everything around you is rotating, pleasure and pain, gain and loss, honor and insult, the world is constantly changing. Once you see that clearly, why to run after what is unreliable? Fab, looking good into the eyes of others, how long would it last? Uh, you know, pleasing the senses? Every time we please any of our senses, we drain our vital energy. We don't realize this. So really restraining the energy, we gain spiritual strength. This is the purpose of gathering energy 
So like all the energy is taken inside in the self, then you find true tranquility, true contentment and total freedom. Yeah, Shantibai, you just said, you, you have used the word contentment. And another thing that I never realized, what you said is very, very correct though, that we drain a lot of our energy in pleasing others, in showing off to others. Yeah. And when we go to another environment, then I have to use more energy to in a different dimension. And But you have used the word contentment. Can you please throw, tell me briefly what is contentment? Contentment means being established in the self. Just seeing Atman or self is total, it doesn't need. Just like sun shines a light, we don't need to use flashlight to see the sun. So when we realize the source of everything is within, once we realize it, then we don't look for anything. So this is like looking for happiness outside is like throwing torchlight to see, but really is within. So that is called contentment. You know, tada drushtuhu swarupe avasthanam, that is Patanjali. Tyagat shantihi anantaram, Bhagavad Gita. All this says, Atmanaiv, Atmaiv, Atmana tushta, sthita pragnya sadochate. That is Bhagavad Gita. That means being content within ourselves. Because of illusion, or Maya, we go outward looking for in the world. That is called Vikshepa. And because of Avran and Mala, we have remained in ignorance. We don't know ourselves. So, removing Avran or covering and stopping running out, we remain content with it. Thank you very much, Shantibai. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Yes.